Two types of people. Would you rather go on a cruise on one of the biggest, newest ships to a destination that's like, eh, you're not like super excited to go to, or go on a cruise on like a small, older ship, but it's going to like a really cool destination? This one sparks a lot of controversy. Personally, nine times out of 10, I am gonna choose the cruise that is the biggest and the newest. And to be honest, when I'm booking a cruise, I don't even really look at the itinerary. I don't care where we go as long as you're putting me on one of the biggest, newest ships because to me, it makes that much of a difference. Like literally, if the itinerary said, we're just gonna run circles in the middle of the ocean for seven days and that's it, <laughs> I'd book it. But then on the other hand, there are people who picture a cruise literally as transportation to get to those destinations. They don't care if the ship was built in 1995. They don't care when it was renovated last. They don't care what cruise line it's on. Just get me to Aruba. Just get me to Nassau, Bahamas. Like that's all they care about. They don't care about what's going on on the ship itself. Of course, the exception here for me is like Alaska, Hawaii, Europe big cruises like that like yes i care about the itinerary but like to the caribbean i i don't care just get me on the nicest ship part of my theory here is that when people choose based on destination and they don't care what ship they're going on is that they have not been on the newer more upgraded ships to know what they're missing out on like i have seen how amazing these ships are and how it like truly it's a completely different experience when you go on one of the big brand new ships. So maybe that's part of it. I'm interested, drop it in the comments. What is your main deciding factor or like your non-negotiables when you're booking a cruise?